What is it about Mars that is so alluring? From our historical past through to modern science fiction of today, culminating in real-life space explorations led by NASA, Mars has always demanded our attention. Attention that has inspired imaginations, such as the Romans giving Mars the honour of being their god of war, or HG Wells depicting a fictional alien invasion originating from the planet in his classic book The War of the Worlds. This itself caused mass panic in the United States in the 1930s, when an Orson Welles radio dramatisation was mistakenly thought to be the broadcast of a real alien invasion. Fictional accounts, pop culture and religious associations aside, the reality is Mars is one of our nearest planetary neighbours. On the cosmological scale, it is a relatively short nine-month journey away, and a planet that we think, with the evidence collected to date, may have harboured life billions of years ago. It is little wonder then that we are developing technologies and capabilities to allow us to complete that nine-month journey, to safely land our equipment on the surface in the hope that we can uncover the planet's past and maybe even allow us the opportunity to spring life back onto the Martian surface. So what do we know about Mars today and how can we help life appear on the planet again? Mars is the fourth planet in the solar system, but it's the second smallest planet. However, despite its size, it's considered the most Earth-like planet in the solar system as it has a similar day-night cycle to Earth, lasting 24.6 hours, with a similar axial tilt of approximately 25 degrees compared to Earth's tilt of 23.5 degrees. It means that Mars experiences seasonal variations like Earth, where the angle of sunlight hitting the planet changes throughout the year as the planet orbits the Sun. In doing so, the polar ice caps vary in size as the season changes. However, because Mars has a much more elongated orbit compared to Earth, these seasons are more extreme and longer lasting. The surface area of Mars is roughly 144 million square kilometres. This is equivalent to the land surface area of Earth, and it is predominantly made of rock and soil which contains a high concentration of iron. It is because of this iron that Mars has its distinctive red colour. In fact, you could say that Mars is quite literally rusting away, as over time the climate on the planet's surface has been weathering the iron-rich rock breaking them down into tiny iron oxide dust particles. In addition to iron oxide dust, Mars' atmosphere also contributes to its red appearance. The thin atmosphere allows more of the planet's surface to be visible from space, and the dust in the atmosphere scatters sunlight in a way that makes the planet appear even redder. Mars is also home to some of the most impressive geological features in our solar system. For example, it boasts Olympos Mons. This is the largest volcano in the solar system, standing at an impressive height of 22 kilometres, that's 14 miles, which is the equivalent to three times the height of Everest. In addition, Mars is home to a massive canyon system, Valles Marineris. This stretches over a distance of 4,000 kilometres, or 2,500 miles, and in places is some four miles deep. If it were on Earth, it would stretch across the entire continental United States. Perhaps the most intriguing aspect of Mars, though, is its potential for life. Scientists believe that Mars may have had a warmer and wetter climate billions of years ago, which could have made it habitable for life. However, over billions of years, Mars' climate has changed significantly. It is thought that this changing climate has been driven by the planet's distance from the Sun, resulting in it receiving less solar energy when comparing it to Earth, which gives it an overall colder climate where its average temperatures is minus 63 degrees C or minus 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Another reason for a possible climate change on Mars is the planet's lack of a strong magnetic field. Earth's magnetic field helps to protect its atmosphere from the solar winds. Since Mars' magnetic field is weak, it is not enough to provide this protection for the atmosphere. 
Therefore, over time, solar winds have stripped away much of Mars' atmosphere and has made the planet's climate even colder and drier. Other factors contributing to Mars' changing climate include volcanic activity and the planet's axial tilt, both of which affect the distribution of sunlight on the planet's surface. All in all, Mars' climate looks like it is not conducive for life, but that does not mean life has never been present, or that in some way life has not found a way to adapt and evolve on the planet. In fact, certain signatures for microbial life have been found and why NASA and other space agencies are keen to send more missions to the planet. For example, in recent years, NASA has sent several missions to Mars, including the Curiosity and Perseverance rovers. Curiosity made discoveries that showed Mars could have supported microbial life in the past and that a region called Gal Crater was once a lake that existed for tens of thousands to millions of years. It also detected in Martian rocks organic molecules which are considered the building blocks for life. More recently, Perseverance has also explored an ancient river delta on Mars and found evidence that it was once a habitable environment with conditions that could have supported microbial life. Perseverance has also tested a technology that could produce oxygen on Mars, which could be used on future human missions to the planet. In fact, in the coming years, several manned missions are planned to explore Mars and its surface. Elon Musk's company SpaceX is at the forefront of this, with the company currently developing a spacecraft called Starship, which it is hoped will eventually transport humans to Mars to establish a permanent settlement there. So far, we have come up short in finding signs of ancient life on the planet, but one thing I am certain is that by continuing to develop our technologies further, we will one day have the capability to support a human colonisation mission in the not too distant future, and with it, there will be life on Mars.